Erica Olson, and welcome to Inside SoCal. What do you get when you combine a vintage arcade with a James Beard recognized dining and elevated game? Button Mash in Echo Park is a barcade filled with vintage video games and craft beer, a popular local haunt for nearly a decade. And now, Poltergeist has appeared within the space, a new restaurant by the James Beard nominated chef, Diego Argati. My goal was, was to make noise and just to be like what a poltergeist is, and just kind of, you know, throw things around and, and, and make it visible that we're here. And just really wanted to like do something special. Talk about a noisy menu. What does that look like? Tell us what you're cooking. It's, it's hard to define the food, I, I feel like. It's almost like an identity crisis of like, I'm, I'm Ecuadorian, but just everything that I'm, I'm influenced by is just, you know, cooking Italian food, loving Thai food. You know, it's like hard not to be influenced by so many cultures when you live here. But we're cooking a green curry bucatino. It's uh, just one long noodle. It's almost around five, six feet. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, and it's just, all intact. We do it with a green curry sauce made out of sunchokes. We, uh, we usually change our bucatino uh, seasonally. So we just did a persimmon orange curry buco that was a persimmon curry, and now we're doing a, a green curry out of sunchokes. Chef, this is so good. It's just been great to kind of see people come in, not quite know what to expect, and then have what they call and what they write and reviews have the best meal they've ever had that just happened to be in an arcade. How did you get your start as a chef? You know, what inspired you to cook? I was, I was always scared of cooking. Uh, really? really? Yeah, no, it was like, it was something I'd always see on television. I think like a couple heartbreaks later, I kind of had like, I, I lost a lot and, and was just able to be like hit rock bottom in a place where like I had nothing else to lose and nothing else to be scared of. So like I decided to cook. And he has cooked at some of LA's top restaurants like Bestia and Bavel. Now he's partnered up with Gabe and Jordan of Button Mash to execute his own concept, something of a trifecta, according to Gabe. We really wanted to be the one that got the games right, got the drinks right, and um, focused on the food as well. In a world where it, we have VR now and you can be gaming from your couch or in your bed, why come to a place like this? There's um, a tactile nature to many of these games, and we specifically picked a lot of games with uh, physical features that you can't just emulate you know, on a phone or an, or an iPad. And then of course there's the social aspect of, you know, four people getting on Czech's bubble hockey or fighting each other for bragging rights in Street Fighter because, you know, there's a token on the, the line. But as much as button mash is about fun, they're very serious when it comes to building community within. The talent that's out there is like, that's what I, I, I look at. Kids that are like a little like rougher around the edges, people that are like I'm pretty sure used to like, you know, tag our walls, and now they're they're just labeling everything with blue tape, and it's it's uh, it's really cool to see the growth. It could be a lot easier getting professionals or getting people that that just want this to be a job, and just show up to work, they cook and they leave, and that's like not what we're doing here. You know, it's a place where like we invest a lot. We've always prided ourselves on our um, staff. This is the, the opposite of a uh, faceless corporation or like chain. It's them and us and we jump in and help and they help us and it's, it's been great. We were nominated um, by James Beard Foundation um, as Best Chef California, which we'll find out in June. Um, congratulations. That's an incredible achievement. What did it mean to you to hear that? Did, did it even make a difference to you? A hundred percent. I, I want to say no and like I don't care about that stuff and sound really cool but like that's, it was like one of the last conversations I had with my dad before he died and it was like the one thing I always wanted and the one thing that got taken away from me that I never, you know, could imagine at the same time but also it's uh, at this point I just kind of want to influence others, you know, like if, if I can do it, anyone can. That little kid who never thought he could do it watching those television shows and here you are. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Erica Olson for Inside SoCal. We'll see you next Sunday. Inside SoCal is presented by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness.